All right, Kings Island fans, I've been holding off on this video because I really wanted to dive in deep and analyze this information. So as many of you know, with this picture here, yes, it has been overused at this point, but I just included it to start off the video. Fred Grubb was spotted at Kings Island. Um, he was spotted near the racer, um, but I do strongly believe that RMC and Fred Grubb are not going to be involved with Kings Island on their wooden coasters in any way. Those things are like icons and I can't see them touching them at all. I think there's a much bigger picture here and I don't know um, if it's necessarily even to do with the Giga, but we're gonna discuss both these options in this video. Regardless, I think you guys have a lot to be excited about for your future and I think this is great news. So if I were to pick a location for a possible coaster at Kings Island in the future, whether that be 2020 or 2022, um, this is the first lo location that comes to my mind. Um, you have Dinosaurs Alive, which is most likely being removed, um, and it's, it's right in this area that could be themed really well. So you have kind of like this dark alien type theme. If uh, Correct me below if I'm wrong, but this is what I kind of think might be um, a great possible location and theme for the coaster. Um, and I honestly have a feeling we're going to look at an RMC T-Rex. I think Kings Island may be the first park in the chain to get an RMC T-Rex, and I would be thrilled to see that at Kings Island. I think it would do really well, whether that be a um, T-Rex Giga or a T-Rex Looping Coaster. Um, it could be either or. So I'm going to go over both options. So um, first option, in my opinion, might be a T-Rex kind of like looping coaster, similar to the Raptors, low to the ground, lots of like speed, um, airtime and thrilling uh, inversions. I think that would do really well at Kings Island, but a lot of people um, suggest that Kings Island's already got a great inversion lineup and maybe this isn't um, the coaster that Kings Island needs. Um, whether you think that or um, say that, um, I still think a nice RMC T-Rex would suit this park really well. And they would be lucky to have a coaster like this and be the first park in the chain to receive a T-Rex. I used to think Canada's Wonderland would be the, um, or Carowinds would be the parks to get this option first, because we typically see things kind of started out at these parks or tested at these parks and kind of later on moved. Um, I also thought maybe even Cedar Point might be the first park to get a T-Rex, but I honestly now have a feeling that we're looking at an RMC T-Rex for uh, Kings Island and this would be a great park to test it out at and it would also be a great addition. Now, T-Rexes are unique. They can do many things with the T-Rex as we learned at IAPA. That it could be a Giga, um, it could be like, you know, low to the ground, it could be whatever the park really wants to do with this kind of track design. It has a lot more um, capability than the Raptor track itself. Um, now, the other option is a lot of people assume when we see Giga coming to a park, we, we know that it's been teased slightly um, and it's been mentioned by park officials that a Giga has been on the table for quite some time now, um, that we automatically assume it's gonna be a B&M Giga. Well, maybe the park and the chain is trying something different. Yes, B&M Gigas work really well. They're very classy looking. Um, they just work right away. Um, and it's usually the park or the chain's first go-to attraction is B&M. Well, who's to say a a Giga T-Rex is off the table. I think if we're looking at the two options, you're either going to get that inversion low to the ground um, T-Rex coaster, or you're going to get the T-Rex Giga. Can you imagine the hype that this park would get if they were the first park to receive a T-Rex Giga coaster? And also we are noticing the Raptor coasters are literally butter smooth. They are gl like glass smooth, really quick, high thrill attractions, and I could only imagine how that translates into a Giga Coaster. So there are many options um, Kings Island can go down. Um, these aren't even just the two, but these are the two that I really think would suit the park well. I want you guys to comment below. Do you think you're gonna see a T-Rex Giga Coaster at Kings Island? Or do you think you're gonna see a low to the ground, high speed, high thrill inversion T-Rex Coaster at Kings Island? Or do you think it's gonna be something completely different? Do you think it's gonna be a B&M? or even just something completely different and that I am missing in my analysis. Comment below what you guys think. I'm gonna read all the comments and try to respond to them all. So definitely go crazy with your predictions. Um, but yeah, this is really exciting. I, I, I really don't think um, RMC is on property for a wooden coaster. I think this is for a high thrill steel coaster coming to Kings Island. And the rumor is, and has always been for a while, a Giga. 
So this would be really unique <laughs> and uh, exciting, obviously for the coaster enthusiast community. Um, but yeah, um, I'm already, I'm going to Kings Island in about a month, finally for my first time ever. I can't believe this is my first time. I should have already been there years ago. And um, I'm gonna obviously look at the location in depth and kind of like reanalyze the situation. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Give this video a like, share it if you want, um, and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one, bye.